We're here today with uh, Paul Adamson from Stonehenge. He's just getting his, taking delivery of his brand new Transit T350 with a custom aluminum box from Eloquip. So uh, you designed this box basically and then uh, Eloquip uh, made it for you. Can you just show us some of the features that uh, you built into it that, that are kind of unusual and, and will help make your business uh, run better? Well, we wanted to have a really uh, well-organized truck this time. This is our second generation of trucks, so we wanted to have where we put all our screws and bolts and all the little knickknacks that you always need, but you're always short. And you never have them when you need them, but now we'll have them when we need them. Right on. And that's a watertight drawer there. Actually, they're all watertight. And up here is so that we can just place uh, delicate tools where we just have to go around the corner, maybe put a chop saw on it and strap it down. So it stays out of the way of maybe sand and gravel that might be on the back or other materials that would damage uh, a specialty tool that we can just sort of lock down on there for around the uh, Cool. Trip. You got a cross box here. Cross box. You got reinforced uh, hooks, looks like. Yep, these are all for um, carrying your heavy duty extension cords. It's a pass through all the way through in case we want to maybe modify this and put on long levels or straight bars. This is so again we could store something like a chop saw or a quick cut. And then underneath again there's lots of shelves for uh, pull out storage. All right. And they slide out. A little tiny short one and then one is longer that goes the full width. And then we have here another something for what we're going to put in some cordless tools, quick grab items. Maybe a bag of cement if we have to set a post. Yeah. So you've got a 3500 chassis here. So you can still operate it with a, a under 4500 kg, so you don't have to do uh, the walk around every day. Yeah. yeah. So this truck, uh, we wanted to get a particularly short wheelbase because all our work is in tight confines. I wanted to make sure everything lined up at least narrower than the mirrors. This truck is uh, great in that it competes with the Sprinter and that it's nice and tight. Mm -hmm. uh, this toolbox side has really large slide out drawers nice. for especially heavy items that you can just reach. That way guys don't hurt themselves. Another drawer, again, it slides out. It's not reaching in all the way. That's great. And again, more storage for cords and um, uh, straps and things like that. This is so we can carry fuel. It's all clip full visibility when we work in tight areas. We like to be able to see all around the truck all the time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time we can't uh, with our bigger trucks. It's just, you got to open up a bit more. And again, we have a little uh, belly box there. We call them belly boxes. Mm -hmm. And on this side, we made it so it all folds down. So we can store and load some material on this side. We can actually stick material out the back two feet. And those sides are removable as well? These sides are all removable. Looks like you got shovel and rake cracks yeah. on the side there. Yeah, so this isn't a full landscape truck. It's more for the carpentry guys. Right on. So they might need their own shovel, pry bar. Up on top here we have um, fully removable crossbars so that if we wanted to load something tall that sort of stuck up, we could get rid of those bars, uh, but it also can take our full length 16 foot uh, lumber up top, that's what the intent of the, of the truck. And around back you've got another uh, pull out. So you've used every inch of this truck. It's on the... yes. <laughs> so this is just set up again for quick grab items. Um, that, where you need, uh, need to be able to look down on top of them. Um, we also were thinking maybe we'd set something up on here so it could be a stand for a work platform. And this is for long storage of 10 foot, uh, 9 foot bars. Oh, wow. And, and uh, you could long levels too in extra there. Extra long levels that you don't want banged up in the back of the uh, yeah. body. And everything locks, everything's watertight. 
LED lights as well. Lights. Yeah. And then we made sure that we had enough room so we could put a, a pallet on here, a four foot wide pallet. We have about 50 inches here. So a lot of versatility in loading and unloading things. Because at the shop we have a four flips and bobcats can always snatch things off and on. I think this is probably one of the most customized uh, transits I've ever seen. <laughs> you did a great job. Euro yeah, Euro style for sure. And Eloquip, uh, they're great to work with too. They did a fantastic uh, job on it, I think. Are you happy with the truck? Very happy. Good. I just want to get it to work. Okay, well, let's, go, let's go to work. Congratulations. <laughs>